<clears throat> so today I'm going to be talking about EOS locally. I might have mentioned it to several people already at this conference, but we launched just two weeks ago um, as a beta version, and we're trying to build the fastest P2P uh, crypto to fiat gateway that exists today. So the main problem that we were trying to solve is that we realized that when people like my mom, they try to get into crypto, they just have no idea and have no information on where to go to actually start investing in crypto. And if they go into an exchange and try to buy crypto, let's say with the credit card, which they're very familiar with, they realize that they start their investment with around 8% to 10% of it gone. And um, it's also very indirect and complicated for most people to understand. And we realized that this was a problem we had to solve in the space, especially for EOS. So we decided to make a much more simple version and a much more simple flow for people to start buying crypto. Um, so we decided to create a smart contract and a platform that basically allows people to safely and cheaply uh, buy crypto. So the main differences between this and other platforms like exchanges and whatnot is that, um, first of all, obviously, you don't need to use credit cards. You can use Venmo, WeChat Pay, wire transactions, um, local cash. You can meet someone and pay them cash. There's a lot of payment methods that you can use to basically buy the crypto. Um, it's a lot more secure because everything's on chain. All the transactions go on chain. Um, nobody's taking custody of your funds. So unlike other platforms where you may have to deposit your crypto, for example, into an exchange, which could get hacked, um, for ours, it's only held during the duration of the trade and you hold it in your wallet at all times and receive fiat from people directly. Um, also, we have much lower fees than any other platform in existence um, that does the same thing at the moment. Um, we have 0.99% to 0.5% per trade. It depends on the level of um, the user, depending on how many trades they've done. And um, it also integrates with any private wallet or third-party system, and they can even directly trade through an exchange. So here's a little bit of a price comparison between a Bitcoin trading platform and EOS Locally. So for EOS Locally, you just have that transaction fee um, that the smart contract automatically takes off the EOS, um, while other platforms have a deposit and withdrawal fee and the transaction fee as well. Um, these are two videos that we took. Um, I'm not going to play them because it'll take too long, but basically the one on the right is EOS locally starting from sign up to finishing a trade. It takes around a total of five minutes um, on average. And uh, this is a Bitcoin trading platform like local Bitcoins. And we accelerated the video 20 times with us just trying to do a trade. And um, they end at the same time. So you can tell that you know other platforms, especially if you're trying to use Bitcoin to do these P2P transactions, it takes an immense amount of time for you to actually get your Bitcoin. And usually with the volatility of the crypto market, that means that the price of the coin probably uh, changed by the time you finish the trade. Um, it takes probably like an hour and a half versus five minutes. Um, so right now we're still in beta. We haven't really spent much money on marketing at all. But um, we've already got in around um, over 600 EOS in volume. Actually, now I checked the stats, it was around $4,000 in volume. Um, we've got several users registered and signing up. And we're planning to basically market this further soon once we've uh, um, updated the platform, fixing some bugs, and um, improving it a little bit more. And basically, we are currently just doing the EOS and USD trading pair. I mean, not USD, EOS and any fiat currency trading pair right now on the platform. But we're thinking of bringing in WAX, BOSS, TELOS, Werbly, um, EOS Cash, and um, any other currencies actually that use a um, sort of memo or tag on the transfers. Um, for example, BNB, Stellar, and Ripple. And um, we're trying to extrapolate and diversify the number of trading pairs that we have. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. And I'll open up for questions if anybody has any questions about EOS locally. Thank you. June had a question. 
Yeah, so there is a reputation system right now. Basically, what it takes into account is if you did a successful trade, then you get one additional trade on your um, total trade count. And also, um, there's a percentage of trades that you did successfully. If you ever you know, did something sketchy or um, the trade didn't work out because you did something wrong, there's an arbitration system that we employ manually, and we can check all the trade history, the chat history live. And um, basically, it'll affect that percentage. And we basically advise all users to only trade with people that have 100% reputation. Yep. Cool. Thank you.